Hey, it's Eddie again, uh, and we're talking more about what's coming up with uh, the Realms of Pugmire book. Uh, and uh, I've been talking a bit about kind of what's new and, and what's upcoming, and lots of, you know, kind of hedging language, like, it's going to be different, but it's going to be the same, and I, I, I get that maybe that might be a little kind of, of unclear, so I wanted to kind of talk more specifically about specific rules changes uh, in terms of the core rule system that you can expect. And uh, uh, there's going to be some, some terminology shift. Uh, so, for example, uh, breeds are now going to be known as upbringings uh, for, for a couple of reasons. One is that uh, the kind of bioessentialism of what races in fantasy games is largely dying off. And I've always kind of wanted that to be part of Pugmire, but I was initially in first edition nervous that people wouldn't buy into that, so I hedged my bets. And then with Monarchies of Mal and other games going forward, I, I more lit into that. So this is kind of going backwards to complete the cycle. And two, uh, having talked to a lot of dog trainers, a lot of, of the dog breeds really do come down to at what point in time in their uh, training that they have certain parts of their um, training kind of their, their, their breed drive or their uh, prey drive cut off. Um, so it, uh, some of it is in fact training as opposed to bioessentialism. So uh, uh, that, that's, a, that's one change you're going to find. Um, another uh, is that uh, there's actually rules for making friends, something that was a big part of Pugmire implicitly, but there's actually no rules for. Um, so we're actually going to have, like, you know, here's how to make a charisma roll to talk to your friends more. In fact, charisma is another kind of part of that. Um, try to find a charisma saving throw in D&D, man. It doesn't really exist. Uh, charisma kind of gets short shrift as, as an attribute. And so one of the things I wanted to do with this is that I've reframed charisma into being more about... Uh, social awareness as well as personality. So um, the things that normally you would save using wisdom in social situations are actually going to move to charisma now and some of the spells and tricks and like are adapted to that. Uh, so charisma can have a stronger role because let's face it, wisdom doesn't need any help. Wisdom's got plenty of cool things to do uh, for, for skills and saving throws. So charisma's going to get a little more benefit from that. Um, I tweaked uh, a bit about how uh, fortune works. Uh, for example, if you roll uh, a botch, which is a natural one on the die, uh, you actually generate a point of fortune, and, and you can still choose to botch if it ties into one of your personality traits. But now, just an everyday one of the mill botch uh, gets you a fortune. That's for a couple of reasons. One, uh, I felt like fortune wasn't flowing as fast as I initially wanted to in games. Uh, but secondly, also, um, it's kind of cool to get something for a failure. It's like, yeah, I failed, but at least I got a fortune. Um, and in playtesting, that has worked out extremely well. Uh, so those are three kind of big things right now. Um, I'll talk more about some other concepts uh, later. Particularly, I think I want to talk about canon next time um, and how that's going to tie into everything.